Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to see how can uh, we can upgrade our uh, GCC and G++ to the latest version which uh, it is and this uh, we are going to install them uh, both in uh, Linux Mint, uh, latest Linux Mint release which is Linux Mint uh, 19.2 so that being said, we we'll need to open our, our terminal and then once that we open it, we have to do the following things uh, which is the, we need this repository to edit which is the uh, Ubuntu toolchain minus a test so I'm going to copy this one right here so basically this is the important uh, part which you need to uh, remember so let's install this pb I'm going to paste it here and go to okay I think it doesn't let me to copy and paste from one uh, me I'm using in the background uh, virtual box so this means uh, if it's not working it's not working so I need to type it well no problem we are going to type it okay sudo install uh, sorry so add aptitude repository ubuntu to chain minus a slash test it was let me check it to be sure ubuntu minus toolchain minus a test okay it is right of course we need to add the PPR for so now I'm going to run it and then I'm going to hit enter once that is done we need to update our repository sorry need to install update and once that it is update like in a moment I'm going to clean the terminal and now sudo aptitude get install gcc and now I'm going minus nine, uh, nine and let us see we have some options here me I'm going to we are going to need only three of them the gcc itself the gcc9 locals and the gcc9 multilib this is uh, things which you are going to use them okay so I'm going to hit now uh, enter and we are going to wait until it's done it takes a little bit time but it will be uh, done until then uh, I'm going to pause this video and I'm going uh, I'm coming back when it's done so the GCC 9 it's it uh, it is now installed let us check it clear so we have the default one GCC space minus minus version which is our Ubuntu 7.0 and of course we are we have our GCC minus 9 space minus minus version and now this time as you can see we have the Ubuntu version which is 9.1.0 so that being said uh, we are we are just uh, upgrade our GCC to the latest version which is available for us now we are going to do the same thing for G++ if you don't do this I told you uh, then when you are working with uh, code blocks you will have a problem so if you do one do, do them both 
So that being said, sudo aptitude get install g plus plus minus nine, and I'm going to hit tab to see what things are available here. And as you can see, we have only two. So basically, this is exactly what we need. We need uh, g plus plus minus nine, and of course, we need uh, g plus plus minus nine minus uh, multilib. Now I'm going to hit enter. And of course, uh, we are going to wait until it's done. It takes a little bit to download it. So I'm going to wait because I see now that goes faster than uh, G++, uh, than uh, GCC. And of course, uh, at the next thing here, it is uh, very important for you to know that once that you set them both, you can choose them both and work with both, no matter how and which one you choose from them. So that being said, let us test them. G++ space minus minus version. And here is the default one, which was 7 for 0. As you can see, G++ 0 from uh, 7.4.0. And now the, the next one, G++ minus 9. Uh, plus minus 9 space minus minus version and here we can see that our G++ 9 is at a version of 9.1.0 which is the same one with um, with uh, GCC so that being said now when you want to compile something you can compile with GCC directly and then your uh, program program dot c minus o name what you need to have it or you can pro, uh, compile it with your uh, newly installed gcc which is gcc minus nine of course now it's not working because i have no program dot c now and as you can see it says no input file but as you can see it works fine okay so that being said uh, this is everything you need to know about updating uh, or upgrading upgrading your GCC to the latest version. Uh, in the next tutorial we are going to see how we can um, apply it to our code box so that it works with the new version which is GCC 9 and not GCC 7 which defaults uh, at, uh, from the moment when we are installing it. Okay, so that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends and neighbors and until next time, see you guys.